Hey there, sheepdoggers, and welcome to my unfair review of Raven's Cry. So, I'm not a massive fan of shitting on games that I hope will be good, uh, which will kind of tell you what's going to happen with this uh, with this review. Um, I was really hoping that this game would be decent, you know, kind of uh, a, new, a new pirate game. And I imagine quite a few of you guys uh, are similar to me, because I know a lot of you guys have similar tasting games to me, you know, you like the same games, and uh, you're interested in the same games. That's why I'm doing this unfair review so quickly. Uh, I streamed this. The video will be going out in the next couple of days, uh, probably at least one video on Sunday. But I, you'll see exactly what happened and why this review will, will be negative. And, you know, if, if you literally just want to hear my recommendation, this game is not worth it. If it was on sale, possibly, if you're not a fan of pirate games per se, or, you know, if you're a fan of the kind of... RPG style, whatever. This is possibly a game for you. Uh, if it was a lot cheaper. I mean, at the moment, it's $55. I think it's £35. Uh, it's £35, and I think it's $55-ish. Uh, that's too expensive. I would pay maybe £15. Um, and uh, uh, let, let's go in and maybe you can see why. Uh, none of this is perfect, really. This may help. This is, yeah. This, this is this is probably the best one to go in on. Uh, now the problems with this game uh, will probably turn up fairly quickly, so you'll see. But. Uh, one of the main problems I had with this game is that I played it for two hours and never once did it grab me. Never never once did I think, okay, this is good, I'm enjoying myself. It was always, you know, I'm 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 gonna get to a bit which where I can go like, okay, I enjoy this. And I never did. So you can see it's not terrible looking. Uh, the combat is ridiculous. Like, literally, you just spam swing your sword. Uh, there is a parry system and riposte, etc. Okay, so, uh, basically, uh, and this, this is, this as well. You know, like, you've got to kind of escape from, from the town. And it, it's not terrible, but it took me freaking ages. Well, not ages, but it took me quite a while. Because it was just literally, I didn't understand, because the ship sailed off, and... And basically what you have to do is you have to run past these guys, get shot maybe. You can't go any further, turn back. Uh, that's clearly a lie. And uh, basically, um, I did two hours. And I could not stand it anymore. It was just too much for me. So I... I just... Like, you can see the, these kind of cutscenes, the storyline. Well, that went well. I guess we should avoid San Juan for a while. Agreed. Might be a good time to visit home after all, eh? At least until you decide to murder another officer of the Navy. So I'm just letting you hear this. Hey, well, what's going on, eh? You sent a bitch trying to steal my ship, eh? That's what's going on? No. You're... you're not... No, everything's good here. Lay back down and get some sleep. Oh. Thanks. Mm. Marcus. Set sail for St. Lucia. So, yeah, you may be able to tell just from that bit that the kind of voice acting, acting in general, it's a bit off, like the... Found the... something interesting during the fight. Hmm. Found something? And here I thought we were fighting for our lives. It looked to me like you were trying to save your own neck. My neck? Seemed to remember saving It feels half-assed, basically. <laughs> Very half -assed. When I was wrestling with one of those bastards, this coat ripped loose. 
That's a note. It says they're looking for a man named Lancaster. Lancaster. And the pitch goes up and down. A weapons dealer. So their voice sounds really I weird. I don't know another one. Hmm. Man's got his fingers in every pie in the Caribbean. But if this is true, he's staying in Bridgetown now. Seems that's where our friend Torado is going to be looking for him. Bridgetown, man. Yeah. If you're looking to get even, confront him there. Better there than in the Spaniards' own backyard. Less messy that way. I got business in Barbados. A large group of my people are gathering soon, and I should be there. A gathering? I thought you were talking about taking some time off. Guess my bears will have to take care of themselves for a while longer. But you're right. We've been on the run for so long. I've almost forgotten what normal life on land looks like. No offense to you, of course, Christopher. You're a grown man. You can make your own decisions. That's nice of you to notice. So what will you do? Mm. Are you heading to Bridgetown? Mm. Deport Royal Horrors give you the burning drip. This Dorado. I won't let him off my hook. But I'll give you a ride to Barbados. Least I could do for you saving my neck. <laughs> so yeah. Um let's there you go. Uh th this this is this is the real problem that you may be able to see is that it doesn't feel like they're having a conversation at all. It feels like it what it feels like is it feels like two people recording lines for something and then them just like playing it at irregular intervals so you'll they'll be having a conversation and there'll be like a two second pause and then they'll play it and then you know the conversation will go on and two lines will be like just slammed together with no thought or you know it, it just it feels really half assed uh there are characters who don't actually speak um that, that goat. I don't actually need to go up here. I remember now. Uh, yeah, so there's there's characters who don't actually speak. Like their audio is messed up to the point where you don't actually hear them. Uh, you know the the combat, as I've said, is absolutely horrific. It's just so terrible. I mean, most most of uh, most of this game is just you know it's just ripping you out of the. Of the feeling of, of the game of, of all of that stuff you know there's just not really much to it um, in this in this in the sense of you know kind of keeping you you know like oh yeah I'm a pirate and, and it's going well and and all that kind of thing you know like you can just you just as you go through as you walk through you uh, there's so many things that can just go wrong sure I understand you little fuck let me show you how much I understand. So. That guy got stabbed. So th th there's a quest log updated. Apparently. Oh, he managed to get through. Usually they just sit there jumping. Uh, this guy is very intent on his sword. Uh, oh no. He's going somewhere. Uh, they do just they do just stand there and uh, and sharpen their sword or polish their sword. Something they do something with their sword, uh, but they've got nothing in their hands, which is a little bit. So here you go, Barracuda's razor. I saw an ugly, rude bastard with a beautiful weapon earlier. A man like him doesn't deserve such a fine blade. So screw it, let's go kill him, and you can see the combat. <laughs> Oh, last time I just killed this guy. Just keep your hands rocking. I'm out of here. So here's the combat. So left left is uh is kind of swing and then you've got an execute. And that's him dead. Uh, uh, when you, as you hit people, you can see in the bottom right there, 
you're filling up this four meter. Once it's full, you can just auto execute people basically. And now I have the sword. Hurrah, huzzah! Isn't that lovely? There you go. Um, but yeah, it just it just feels like it. Uh, the, what the problem with this game is that there's too many moments where you'll just laugh your ass off. And you, again, you'll see in the video or probably videos I do um, on this game. You'll just laugh your ass off at ridiculous glitches and sound problems and bugs and just just poor poor design. That that's really what the problem with this game is is that it's very poorly designed. And I hate to say that because I was hopeful for this game and you know it's one of those games where you can go like wow this game has potential but it's absolutely ruined time after time. And it's it's just it's just not worth the money, you know. And even if it was on sale for like twenty twenty five twenty pounds, uh, I'd still probably say it's not worth that money. Just I'm you know, like the problem. One of the problems I have is you go off on this ridiculous quest line where you've got to find shit out and etc. And I feel like they would have been so much better off just going. You're in a sandbox game. Sail around as a pirate. And have fun with that, and you can just uh, you know, there's no storyline. Fuck, fuck the storyline, or you know, make a very minimal storyline like they did with Sid Meier's Pirates. Anyway, oh yeah, let's go in here. Um, and yeah, you know, just like look, he's not moving his mouth. He's you know, it's just like it's just a very quick cut scene, blah blah blah, and uh, yeah. Um, so you were saying. Here we go. Here's some more. Nothing beats a frosty mug after uh, their the their facial expressions barely change at all. Most of the time, when they're scared, when they're happy, whatever, it doesn't change. It doesn't change at all. Here we go. Hi there. How are you doing? Oh wait, you don't have audio. Uh, okay. Yeah. Long time no see. And uh, this is just one of those things where you're just like, you know, you can have the subtitles on, but if you haven't put the subtitles on, like he's not even moving his mouth this time. So. And there's so many instant like. Let's just skip through this now. <laughs> And then, yes, Chris. Oh, so what? There we go. All right, off we go. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's. I'm I'm sure there's like ways you can go around and. Uh, I'm just, you know, you have to do a quest to get your ship because apparently yours got got burnt. Although it's never really mentioned, you know. There's there's so many instances where you're just like, wait, wait, what? Th that that's what's happening, or, or you know, like, okay, apparently I'm doing this for some reason, and you know, all this stuff, and like, you know, uh, this game could be forgiven. If it obviously, if it had decent combat, you know, nothing amazing, just a solid combat in ship on land, you know, and the ability to sail around, you know, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, in my own personal opinion, is not a pirate game. It's an Assassin's Creed game with ships, and you happen to be a pirate. Like, you know, the, it's 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 pirate. It's a pirate light game because you still got to do all this stupid assassin crap and all that bullshit. Uh, there's this guy pissing on his crew. A lot of the voice acting is not good at all. It kind of, it kind of feels like they spent a whole load of time uh, working on, you know, certain things in the game, and other things they just rushed as quickly as possible. You know, they tried to like crowbar in shit that just didn't really work well, I challenge you for the captaincy of this vessel you challenge me 
Like that, that, that voice, that mouth movement, and you know, this mouth movement, it's just very slight movement. It, it, it's, it's... <sighs> oh, well, there's a little more. Uh, you also have a pistol, by the way, but I'm not going to use that, because you're not supposed to. So yeah, you can you can kind of uh, counter attack and stuff, but basic attacks pretty much work completely. And then I can just execute him because there you go. I lost a little bit of health, but it will come back. We got a ship, uh, and I can't hear him still because I can't hear him still. There we go. And then this guy's going to turn up. Okay, and uh, next thing I need to show you is the kind of, uh, I'll think about it. Yeah, yeah, get back to work. Um, so yeah, now we have this ship. It's a schooner, I believe, which is uh, also the first ship that you take. So we're not going to go off to, we're supposed to go off to Bridgetown. Uh, Bridgetown, yeah, uh, but we're not going to go there. We're just going to, so, so what you can do is you can sail around like that. Now that's not too bad. Like sailing around like that, and I have a feeling like the uh, like the ship combat could be very very fun. Let's raise the. Um, but the prob the problem is is like it it's it's you know it's an integral part of the game, but everything else for it is just a little ridiculous, and the combat is such that I'm not going to want to I'm not gonna want to board ships for example um, just purely because the 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 fighty fight combat is horrific it's laughable you know the the conversations the everything it's it's all laughable it's all just just like no, you just want to. You just want to scream. No, this isn't how this game should be. It's a pirate game. I love pirate games, and you're ruining my my expectations. Uh, you know all those things, uh, and that's one of the problems I have with this game. So let's. Uh, we've we've we haven't really taken out their sails that much, have we? Let's keep firing at the sails. Um. So yeah, like this is the thing. Is I did two hours of this game. Like, no jokes, two hours, like, going through missions and all that jazz. And I ended up, uh, in the last, like, five minutes, actually sailing a ship. Actually sailing a ship. And the first thing I ran into, uh, on, like, following my mission, following my quest log, the first thing I ran into was a bloody massive man of war that destroyed me in, like, two hits. Which was just, it was fucking apocalyptic I just got wrecked by like this massively higher level style ship than me and it's just like well what are you going to do against that really because because there's nothing you can do up against that oh fuck okay that maybe I'm just lowering you can lower the guns with mouse wheel up and down and and that kind of thing. Uh, there we go. I think green is crew, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, obviously, if you sail into the wind, like I am currently doing, things will be a little bit bad. That's a little bit low. Raise it up a bit, boys. Um, and yeah, you know, the, the, the thing is, is this ship combat doesn't seem too bad. You know, comparatively, I think it's fairly decent. Um, but the problem is here is that while the ship combat seems decent, everything else about the game is fairly horrific. You know, it's it's not just it's not just like ah, oh, you know, I can get through this to do ship combat. It's this is breaking my brain basically. This is this is this is so horribly breaking my brain. I just I just don't want to anymore. I you know. Like I, I got to, I got to a point where I was fighting some ships. The ships were a lot worse than my, you know, a lot better than mine. 
a lot more cannons and etc. And I was just like, you know, it's not worth the the hassle, the the heartache, the pain to to do this over, you know, to push myself through this game just purely for the small bits where I actually get to be a pirate. And to be honest, I didn't get to be a pirate that much. Like one of the things I was saying all the way through the vid uh, the stream was literally like let me please please game let me be a pirate stop making me do forced stealth sections stop making me run around a town and talk to random people for a storyline to be honest i just don't give a shit about and you know that's kind of what it, it was it was just going like yeah go to this quest and go to the it's very possible that i was you know that I was just following a quest line that you don't have to do and I could have gone off and been a pirate earlier. But when you're starting off a game, you know, you don't know that. So you can't know for sure that's what you're supposed to be doing. And that's the problem is, you know, I wasn't sure what I was supposed to be doing. So I ran what I was told, you know, I ran the quest line I was supposed to, told to run. Okay, we need to board this ship. Let's see if we can actually do that, shall we? But yeah, I was, I was running the quest line I was told to run. So, you know, wh what are you going to do, basically? Like, uh, when you're starting a game like that, you, you run what you're told to run, kind of thing. That should do some good old damage. Can I... Get yourself close and parallel to the ship and then place press spacebar. I'm sure that's what I'm doing right now, but okay. Um, uh, that's going to do a lot of damage. Uh, so yeah, you know, like this, this, this is the thing is, you know, like you can, you can put up with, uh, poor parts of a game, but when the game itself just, you know, doesn't give you any chances to, to enjoy it, it doesn't give you any moments where you're just like, oh yeah, I really enjoyed this part or why can't I board? It said get parallel. I was parallel to the bloody ship. I was right fucking next to it. Basically. Um, and yeah, you know, like... Uh, at the end of the day, I do not recommend this game because I just don't feel it's worthwhile in, in, in any particular kind of way, you know? I don't feel like I can say, oh yeah, you know, like the ship combat's decent. Well, you know... The ship com combat's basically integral to the to the to the game, and it being decent, and the rest of the game being pretty. I'm sorry, but pretty fucking terrible, just purely means that you know, it's just not good. There we go. Seventy-five percent of chance of boarding. Yes, we will board the ship. Okay. I've never boarded a ship before, so I don't know how it goes. That my captain's flying in the air, or possibly. Uh, what? Wait, 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 wait. Take the crew. So, take the rations. I'll take the sailcloth. Uh, I'll take the grape shot. I'll take the take take all take all. Burn ship. Uh, oh, and also when you uh, you can you can see like you move like this, but this guy here, uh, when you sink, the ship literally just does that, just sinks into the ground. And he just stands there like nothing. They all just stand there like nothing's wrong. You know, this this really does have the feel of a game where they didn't have the budget. They weren't able to do what they needed to do. So they just kind of cut corners, didn't make the effort. I mean, like, look, I can't, I can't sail anywhere unless I click on this and then clicking on these you know I can click over here and go here instead so you can kind of go around the place and search for stuff but you have to go to a specific place so you can't go over here for example not really 
I guess until stuff opens up. And you can go like, oh, French pirate warship, uh, fraction. What the fuck's a fraction? No idea. Uh, and then occasionally you'll get, uh, you know, pirates captain, they are hostile. I've already had a fight, so, you know, I'll probably die. But anyway, yeah. I'm going to end it here because I don't want it to be long, too long. I've gone, you know, it's not needed to be any longer, really, at the end of the day. Uh, the pure fact that boarding a ship is just, you know, this is a pirate game. Boarding, boarding a ship should be an integral part of the sea combat. And I think that's an obvious thing. So the pure fact that boarding a ship is just you going, you have a 75% chance of successfully boarding this ship. Do you want to do it? Yes. Right. You won. You don't even get to see any animations or any, any anything, you know. So it's just like, great. So that's boarding a ship, is it? Is, do you want to board a ship? Yeah. All right. And you can see, like, it's got, it's got a cool, a few interesting things, like, uh, you got like the front view, you got the left view, the, and then like kind of this uh, this like side uh, like it's called the Ravens view, but what it is basically is just a you know a, a kind of top down ish view. Oh, those frame drops! Oh, that's horrible. And yeah, you can use that as well. Um, anyway, I, there you go. I, I I don't really want to do any. Uh, yes. Uh, I really don't want to do any more of this because it's just a little depressing at the moment. I may do more on the stream, uh, but aside from the next videos coming up, which is the highlights of the stream, which is, to be honest, quite hilarious. Um, I just I won't be doing any more videos of this on YouTube because it's it's not really worthy of that, unfortunately. So uh, you know, there's a look at the game, guys. Uh, I showed you pretty much everything I experienced. Aside from some of the more ridiculous glitches and bugs and just general hilarity. But that will be in the next set of videos. So if you're still not sure whether you want to buy this game, I will be putting up stream highlights. Possibly the entire stream in sections of video. But uh, yeah, it's uh, th this is one where I'd love to recommend it because it's awesome. But it's not awesome, so I can't recommend it. it you know, it's one of those things like... I, I have to be honest with you guys uh, because, you know, it may say unfair review, but that's only because I consider all unf uh, I, I consider all reviews to be unfair because it's tinged with personal, uh, you know, personal feelings, you know, that it's not unbiased. No review is unbiased. So that's why I call it an unfair review. At the end of the day, all I can do is show you a game, give you my opinion, if you like it personally, well done. You know, fair play. All I'm doing is giving my opinion, showing off gameplay to people who have the same taste in games as me. So they can go like, oh, okay, I really like uh, games that Sheepdog likes. Therefore, I won't like this game. So, there you go, guys. That is Raven's Cry on their review. I do not recommend it. Uh, even if it's drops a little bit in price, I'd say avoid it like the plague, um, or avoid it like a pirate ship. And uh, I had about, uh, when I was streaming this, I had about up to 50 people watching, and there was no one who thought it, who thought it seemed good. So, you know, yeah, th that's the, the consensus, the pretty much unanimous consensus was, um, was universal. That, no, it is not a worthwhile ga game to get. And there are a lot of upset people who were like, oh, I've been looking for a pirate game, and it's a shame this isn't the one. But uh, the funniest, I'm going to leave you with this, which really made me laugh. Uh, one, of, one of the guys in the chat said, uh, I find it very ironic that a game about pirates is basically encouraging people to pirate because of the price tag and the fact that it's not very good. So, there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed the review, and I'll see you in the next one!